Welcome back guys to Open Talks channel where hopefully you get entertained and if you don't then we're gonna have to work on that. So in today's video we're gonna learn about main story theme. You probably can't fucking see that but that's an O fucking glare. I need to get better lighting but anyways we're gonna learn about main story theme and what that basically means is who the fuck are you and what the fuck do you stand for? So like I previously said on a video called, what was the title of it? Why I Started YouTube. And this is going to be kind of like a sequel to that video. So, so I'm going to try to keep this short and simple, just like my dick. So let's let's get to it, all right? So I think the best way to describe my main story theme would be basically to answer some simple questions. Such as, who am I? I've been wanting to answer this question for a while now, but... I can't seem to find the right answer for it. So the best answer that I can come up with is that I'm a 19 year old kid who's wanting to become an entrepreneur, who's wanting to become a YouTuber, who's wanting to basically break the fucking cycle of being broke. I no longer want to be broke. I no longer want to be stressed out that, fuck, I may be getting evicted from my fucking apartment because I don't have enough money to pay the fucking rent. And not only am I doing this for myself, but I'm also doing it for my family. I see my I see my family arguing for money, and I'm like, this shouldn't be happening. Due to the fact that I have the tools, I have the information, so that I can that can help me break this fucking cycle. That I can have enough money not only to take care of myself, but also to take care of my family. And I feel like I owe my family to to help them out. Especially my fucking parents who fucking crossed the border to get to the USA. Like shit, they risked their lives so I, so I can have a better future. And what the fuck am I doing with my future? Just fucking watching Family Guy, watching porn, beating my meat? No! I don't think that's what they came into America for. They wanted me to ha to be successful and to, be, and to become somebody in life. So I have to do this. For them, and I also have to do it for my fucking future family. Because I don't want my fucking kid to be sleeping on the fucking floor like I had to. I don't want my kid to be sleeping on the floor. I don't want my kid to fucking have to suffer because he's hungry. Like, what kind of shit is that, man? Come on now. Come on. So, that's who the fuck I am right now. I'm a 19-year-old kid who's trying to break the fucking cycle of being broke, of struggling for money, and who's trying to get his shit together for everybody, for everybody's sakes that's around me. So that's the first question. The second question would be how I got started. I don't think I should be answering this question right now because I really haven't done shit. I haven't really accomplished anything, but you know what? Fuck it. And it all started back in 1999. Nah, fuck it. Let's fast forward to 2017. Actually, 2017 and and a half. We were getting closer to 2018. And basically, it all started like this. I was living with my mom. I was living with my mom. And I was causing her problems. Due to the fact that I was just being a lazy fucking piece of shit. I wasn't really helping around the house. And everybody was getting mad at me. But they weren't saying shit to me. They were saying shit to my mom. My grandma, my aunt, my grandpa, my stepdad, everybody was just shitting on my mom for stuff that I was doing, such as, well, for the stuff that I wasn't doing, like helping around the house, uh, not washing my dishes, and having my room dirty, and all this shit. So what my mom would do, she would fucking yell at me, for be like, why the fuck do I have to deal with all these people's bullshit because of your fucking fault, because you don't want to do shit, how come I have to deal with that, huh? Why can't you be a normal kid and... Wash the fucking dishes that you fucking use. Why can't you keep your fucking room clean? And you know, all of that shit is understandable. I shouldn't be a piece of shit and my mom didn't have to go through that shit. So, so the best thing that I could have done was for me to help around. But I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I don't want to do that. I think the best thing for me to do is move out. So I moved out, right? And... That was like pretty much a fucking dumb shit. Because when I moved out, I decided that I wasn't going to take any of the stuff that my mom bought me. And I was only going to take the shit that I bought or that somebody else have, has given me in the past. 
which was a pretty bad idea because all the shit that I had, my mom had given giving it to me. So I'm like, so the only things that I really had were like the underwear that I was wearing and fucking Patrick and Stitch. These two motherfuckers have been with me since like day one. The shit that we've been through, man. The shit that we've been through. So this is these are the only things that I really had. Um, yeah. And it was it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough because, like I said, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have fucking pots to fucking cook in. I didn't have a bed. I didn't have blankets. I didn't have pajamas. I didn't have underwear. I didn't have shit. So, so what I decided to do was like I'm gonna fucking steal. I'm gonna steal all the shit that I need from a corporation that um, that I will later mention the how, when, and where I stole from. For, that will be for another video. So I decided to steal all that shit, and luckily I was pretty fucking good at it. I became fucking good, and damn, I was proud of myself. Like shit, I stole all this shit by my goddamn self, which I shouldn't be very happy about that. But fuck it, man, yeah. fuck it. Like shit, I accomplished something. I accomplished something in my life. So I stole all of that shit, and the apartment that I was living in, it smelled like weed. It smelled like cigarettes. I can hear my neighbors having sex. Like, for God sakes. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to be hearing your fucking moaning and... What is it? Moaning, groaning, fucking screaming. Like, damn. Like, good... Like, you know what? Good job for that fucking guy that was just fucking... <laughs> pounding on that bitch, man. Good for you, man. Good for you. It seems like you're doing a good job, but... But can you lower it down, please? Please lower it down. I don't want to be hearing that. I'm trying to go to sleep. I work night shift. And I'm about to go in like in a couple of hours. I haven't slept in the whole entire fucking day. Because my first shift. My first shift. Because my first shift started from like 10.30 to fucking 6.30. 10.30 at night to 6.30 in the morning. And then my second job started from like 7 to fucking 3. So I was going from like a job to another job. And I was fucking tired. I only had like 5 hours to sleep. Which is not that bad. But. Fuck! I can't go to sleep when I he when I'm hearing you people having sex. Please lower it down, please. So luckily, I was able to like move out. I was able to move out to another apartment that was cheaper and relatively closer to my jobs. But the only problem with that fucking job was, I mean, not job, but the only problem with that apartment was that it had no fucking heater. Yeah, it had no heater. And I moved in, like, in the middle of the fucking winter. Like, fucking damn. And the solution that this landlord had was to give me five fucking portable heaters that I can plug into the wall so I can keep myself warm. And I'm like, no. No, that is not going to be enough. Like, I automatically knew that wasn't going to be enough. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I know it's not going to work, but fuck it. Got to give it a try. I give it a try, right? And the first night that I move in, I plug all the fucking heaters in my in the room. Uh, I plug them all in, turn them on, I wrap myself in the blanket, and close the door so I can trap the heat. And everything was going fine, right? A couple of hours later pass, and I wake up because it was so fucking cold. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What the Fuck is going on? Like why 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 am I being so cold? Like everything's working. Like why why am I so cold? So I look at the portables, uh, so I look at the heaters and all of them are off. Why are all of them off? And so I turn them on, turn them off, plug them in, I plug them out, plug them in, and nothing nothing was working. I'm like What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What is this? So I plug in my charger to charge my, so I plug in my phone to see if there's electricity and there's no electricity whatsoever. Why is this happening? So luckily I had two apartment, I mean two, um, two rooms. I go to the next room, all the outlets are working, I do the same shit, plug them all in, close the door and wrap myself in the blanket and go to sleep. Everything was going fine until I wake up again because of cold. All the fucking outlets blew out. I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Shit! Fucking shit! 
so I'm like, I'm over here. So, so, so at this moment, at this moment in life, I was about to fucking give up. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna just move back in with my mom. And I'm just gonna have to move back in with my mom because I don't know what else to do. It's like for every single problem that I solve, I get three others. When are these problems gonna fucking end? When? But, but, but then I was like, I was, about, I, was, I was fucking crying. I was fucking crying. I'm like, life is too damn hard. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Life's too hard. I wanna quit. Fuck. I'm, I, I, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going back in with my mom. And as soon as I was about to call my mom and explain to her, like, you know what? I'm sorry, mom, that I moved out. Can you please take me back in? Um, please take me back in. I realized that I had two apartments. Well, I had access to two apartments. Because I see, I hadn't turned in the key to my other apartment that I moved out from. So I was like, fuck it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to move back in to my other apartment even though it like even though it didn't have no electricity because I cut the fucking lights out, I've always noticed that that apartment ha had has always been warmer. Like since the first day that I walked into that apartment, like it was cold outside, but as soon as I walked in that fucking apartment, was well, the unit, it was pretty warm. Like it wasn't like warm like shit, the tropical area, but it was relatively warm compared to being outside and having no electricity. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna go to my other apartment, sleep through the night, and pray to the good Lord up there that I find a solution to finding to fixing this situation that I'm in. So that so that's what I did. So basically that's what I did. I move in. I I grab all my blankets, my fucking pillow, my pajamas, and it worked. It actually worked. I'm like holy fuck. This is working. Right? This is actually working. Now. I'm like I'm not as cold as I am in my other apartment. The next day, I told my fucking landlord, like, hey, you know, all the outlets blew out in the apartment. Can you fix them? He fixed them, and then everything from then on out was starting to work pretty good. So, later on, um, yeah, so later on, uh, so a couple months passed, and then I get a job offer here in Indiana, and I move in with my dad. I move in with my dad, and and everything was good. Until I, started having, until, I have, until I started having problems with my stepmom. I started having step problems with my stepmom. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm moving out. I moved out to my grandma to live with my grandma. And then everything was going good. Everything everything was good. When I was living with my grandma, I didn't have really no problems. But I'm like, I'm not going to do shit with my life if I just stay with my grandma. Because my grandma was pretty cool. Was pretty cool. She, like, she was, she did, she pretty, she took care of me. But I'm like, I have to move out of here because I'm not going to do shit with my life because I'm getting too comfortable. And so I have to move out again and pray to the good Lord up there that everything goes a-okay. So this is, uh, so I move in, so I move into this apartment and yeah, and here I am. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to decide to start a YouTube channel because I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for like since the very first time that I moved out. But I was too much of a pussy to fucking record myself. And just publish a fucking video. Like I, w I was too much of a pussy, so that's why I decided not to do it. That's why I postponed this shit until like a couple months ago. A couple months, like, like until like a month ago. So here I am. That's that's how I got started. So basically, that's my main story theme. So, and this is kind of like a sequel to my other uh, video that I made about why I started YouTube. So I try to keep the short as simple as I possibly could. So come back next week. At the same time, same channel, to see how I fucking stole, like about eight hundred to a thousand worth, like about like eight hundred to like a thousand worth of goods. Yeah, like I think I said it right, right? Yeah, like Like 800 to like a thousand worth of items. 800 to like a thousand worth of items that I sold. Like, good shit, man. Good shit. So, yeah, stick around to, to find out how I did it, what I sold, and how you can also do it.
So please share, subscribe, and leave a comment down in the comments comments section, right? Or leave a review. What is it? Is it fucking reviews or comments? What's the fucking difference, you know? So please do that if you found if you found value in this video, and if not, then it's gonna get better. So have a good day, evening, morning. See you on the next week.